Overcoming cross-cultural communication barriers. In this part, there are five ways to avoid mistakes in cross-cultural communication, and this is the suggestions from International Relations (ETU). Working cross-culturally can be exciting and rewarding, but even wise and accomplished communicators often stumble over some of the more common cross-cultural communication mistakes. Before you embark on your journey, or even you are midway down the road, consider printing off this list and posting it somewhere you will see daily. When it comes to communication, an ounce of prevention is truly worth a pound of cure. Number one, assume good intentions. Everyone cross-cultural worker knows this moment. You are in discussion with an individual from another culture. When they say something totally offensive or rude, you are taking a bit aback and feel defensive. How could they say that? In this moment, especially if you feel tired from jet lag or overwhelmed with culture shock, it can be so easy to try to correct the individual or respond defensively. But doing so may damage the relationship. And leave the other person baffled. It's hard enough to gauge intentions in your own culture, but cross-cultural gazing can be even trickier. It's very possible the other person spoke based on some cultural frame of reference you don't understand, or they simply mistranslated a word or phrase. Take a step back. Take a breath. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Obviously, not all interactions come from good intentions. It can be helpful to run the interaction by a trusted individual from within the culture who can help you understand what you might have missed. For the time being, however, you will want to move on to number two on this list so that you can stay on the track. Number two, ask clarifying questions. Imagine you are in the midst of an interaction and something seems off, either relationally or informationally. Maybe the person suggests a plan that appears completely outside of the parameters of your contact with them. Maybe they said something that seemed to hold a sharp edge to it. Maybe you are just completely lost. So it can happen. Your best option is to ask a few questions to get some clarification. Here are some clarifiers to consider. It sounds like you might not be comfortable with this solution situation. Can you help me see if there is something else I should consider? Tell me more about that. What is your perspective on this? It sounds like you're saying, "Is that correct?" I'm not sure I understand the main issue. Could you help me? What resources were most helpful in coming to this conclusion? It sounds like you found a solution for. Is that right? Can you tell me more about that? When shouldn't you ask clarifying questions? If you are newbie to the new culture, and the other individual says something that feels like a personal attack, it's best to get the discussion focused back on the main point, and then check in with a trusted local friend. For example, in certain Asian cultures, it's completely acceptable to say you've gotten a little fatter. In fact. If you've been apart for a season, 
and the speaker recognizes that you've gained weight. It shows their attentiveness to you. Imagine the confusion if your counterpart thinks they are showing positive interest in you and you respond like a pretty cactus. <laughs>